I've spent the last month testing free website builders and here's the truth. I don't think website builders are looking to give something away for free, but with a little research, you can definitely make it work. So the best free website builder is a combination of one, being a great website builder, and two, having a generous free plan. That's the sweet spot. This video is gonna walk you through the eight most popular free website builders. I also include three tips for sidestepping common limitations of free plans at the end of the video. My work is supported by affiliate commissions, so I've included links to every website builder in the video description. If you click those links, I may earn a commission. All right, let's do this. The major downside of wordpress.com is that they randomly insert ads into free websites. There's no way to control where the ads will display on your website, so this ad for Amazon could theoretically show up on your e-commerce website beside a product. That's not great. Other free website builders include ads, but you can at least anticipate and design around those ads. This is why I don't recommend WordPress.com for their free plan. Wix is an excellent paid website builder. Uh, it's perfect for users who want precise control over everything. But Wix's free plan is too limiting. Since free website builders don't typically let you connect to a domain name, they instead provide a free subdomain. Wix's free subdomain is long and unfriendly. The Kevin00722 part is not customizable. You're just stuck with that. You also can't add your own Fabicon. Instead, the Fabicon is uh, the Wix logo. They include an ad that scrolls alongside the top of your website. It's intrusive. Finally, Wix has a 500 megabyte bandwidth limit on free websites, which is the lowest of any free website builder I've looked at. Since the average uh, Wix homepage is 1.4 megabytes, you're gonna run into that limit pretty quickly if you're getting much traffic. Here's where the choices start to get more interesting. Google Sites is an intriguing choice because you can add a custom domain. It's only one of two free website builders, the other being Ucraft, that lets you connect a domain name for free. The problem is Google Sites is not really a website builder for small businesses. For example, Google Sites doesn't offer a choice of templates. Instead, there is one single template with six style options. It's very, very minimal. Plus, there's an ad at the bottom of, free, of uh, your free website, which you can't remove, even if you want to pay Google. It's stuck there for the lifespan of the website. Jimdo includes ads on free websites, but the ad is small and hardly noticeable. It could easily be missed. Other free website builders have much more intrusive ads. Jimdo offers a pretty nice subdomain, yoursite.jimdofree.com, but I find the free in the URL doesn't feel very professional. In the past, Jimdo provided free subdomains on the jim, jimdo.com domain, uh, and I wish they'd return to that. I don't typically recommend Jimdo's paid plans because the editor can be overwhelming and the themes are outdated but Jimdo's tiny ad and decent domain name make it an okay middle of the road free website builder. XPRS doesn't put advertisements on free websites and that's awesome. This is the only free website builder I've looked at that doesn't put an ad on free websites. This alone makes it very worth considering. Unfortunately, the free subdomain they provide is pretty unusable and there's no way to edit it. As a website builder, XPRS has a slick interface but can feel a bit overwhelming. It takes time to learn. On the upside, they have really stunning themes. Strikingly is an excellent website builder. It's thoughtful and easy to use. It was originally designed as a tool to build one-page websites, and it's best at that. If you try it, you'll see what I mean. Free plans are limited to one page, but it's a website builder that's uniquely suited to building excellent one-page websites. Strikingly includes an ad that appears on free websites once a visitor starts scrolling. I find it a bit intrusive, but if you can live with it, you'll like Strikingly's free plan. For starters, Strikingly is one of the only free website builders to include e-commerce, so it's limited to one product. Strikingly also provides five gigabytes of bandwidth, which gives it the second highest bandwidth of free website builders. It also has a good free subdomain, yoursite.strikingly.com. Here's what's great about Ucraft's free plan. You can connect a domain name. Uh, this alone makes Ucraft worth considering. It really stands Ucraft out from other free website builders. The only other free website builder to allow this is Google Sites. And like I said earlier in the video, Google Sites isn't really suitable for small business websites. 
Like strikingly, UCraft limits you to one page on pre-plans, though UCraft isn't as well suited to one page websites as strikingly is. UCraft includes an ad that scrolls along free websites, but it's very small. Weebly is my pick for the best free website builder. For starters, it's just a great website builder, period. It's really easy to use, uh, and it's also really flexible. Weebly offers a strong free plan. They provide a good free subdomain, your site.weebly.com, and they are the only free website builder to offer unlimited bandwidth, which means your website won't be shut down if you're getting too many visitors. I like this because bandwidth limits feel like a tax on success. Like almost all free website builders, Weebly includes an ad that scrolls alongside the page, and it's a little intrusive. You'll only want to use Weebly if you can live with this. Weebly offers the most fully featured e-commerce of any free website builder. They don't seem to advertise this directly, and there are limitations of course, but I was able to add multiple products and connect to payment providers. Um, that's huge. So overall, if you can live with the scrolling ad, I think Weebly's free plan is the best free plan of any website builder. Now I want to share three tips for getting the most value out of your free website. First one is domain name redirects. Even if your website builder doesn't allow you to add a custom domain name, you can still add a domain name redirect. For example, let's say you built a free website on Weebly at yourgiftologist.weebly.com. You can actually register the custom domain name yourgiftologist.com with a domain name provider like Namecheap, and you can set it to redirect to yourgiftologist.weebly.com. Then when visitors type in yourgiftologist.com, they're automatically forwarded to yourgiftologist.weebly.com. This isn't a perfect solution. Observant visitors will notice the URL change in their browser, but it's a halfway solution that at least lets you put a real domain name on your business card. Number two, e-commerce. If your website builder doesn't include e-commerce in the free plan, you can actually add e-commerce using Equid. Equid is e-commerce software that you can embed on any website. It's as simple as embedding a YouTube video. I've included a link to Equid in the video description. Number three, here's how you can add Google Analytics. Google Analytics is the industry standard for website statistics. Some website builders like Jimdo ask you to upgrade to a paid plan in order to add Google Analytics, but you really don't need to upgrade. Instead, if you can edit the head code, which in Jimdo is found under settings, you can actually just paste the Google Analytics tracking code there and then voila, Google Analytics is successfully uh, installed. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. You can find links to everything I've mentioned in the video description below. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Thanks for watching.